21 to 18, the shots on goal in favor of the Shamrocks. Here so far through two periods. Fasty crowd here today at the West Meadows Ice Arena here in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. Just off of Route 53 and Euclid Avenue. Both teams now have taken to the center ice, and we will begin the third period momentarily. And we'll be back to where we started in the first period. The Bears things going left to right, and the Shamrocks going right to left. And we're about to drop the Should puck. Should be another good, exciting period. Well, this is the third game of this best of three. They both have taken a game. And now who's gonna come out in this series and up two to one to win this division series? Face off one there by the Bears things. It's Hollander now. Up off the boards and out of the zone. Are they gonna call that off the net? Or I believe they might have actually. That might have actually trickled the net there as that one was hit off by Hollander there. Yep. I do believe you're right on that. It hit the net. Uh, if, it didn't, if, it did hit the, if it did hit the net, it wasn't by much though. So Hollander now will wrinkle that one back in to the Shamrock zone, and it will be played there by the goaltender as they waved off the icy west corner for the Shamrocks. And that one's going to be it's intercepted. A yeah, it's an interception oh, there by Michael Nakula, but he's going to be hit hard into the boards Ooh, by Connor. Good hit. Yeah, good, big hit there by number 81, Davin Nice Connor. pass. And now, now we're seeing a hitting starting to pick up here early on in this third pass period. Out front to, ooh. And that was uh, Luzinski. Trying to get a play on that one is that one. On the back of the net. Yeah, it's going to be stuck on the back of the cage there. And we get a whistle, a stoppage of play. 14-12 left to go here in this third period. 5-4, Bears things with the lead. And it's coming out of the zone. The face off, as Mark mentioned, just outside the Bears thing zone. It's going to be won by the Shamrocks. Now McCarty with it at center ice. McCarty will risk this one back in behind the net of the Bears things. And now it's Sense with the puck. He flips this one out towards neutral ice. Will it go far enough for an icing? No, it will not. Icing waved off there. So the Shamrocks will play on. Up with this one now is McCarty as he tried to get that one to Sullivan, but just out of his reach. And that one will go far enough for an icing. So we will go back down to the Shamrock zone with 13.45 left to go here in this third period. 44 seconds left on the Shamrocks power play as into the box for the unsportsmanlike that was at the end of the second period was number 12, Tommy Schur, the freshman defenseman for the Bear Stangs. Face off there back in the Shamrock zone is won by the Shamrocks. As getting this one as a Chino around the boards to the near side, bringing this one up now is Richard Young, number 97. Richard Young now, as that one poked away, and a good stick there by number 27, Tyler Trebol. He risked that one back in to just kill some time as they are shorthanded now for 20 more seconds. And a bad backhand there by Achino, and that one will be still controlled by the Shamrocks, but that could have been disaster there, as that could have been a breakaway opportunity for Nakula. And here comes Zenz now on a breakaway. Six seconds left, shorthanded, and he lost control of the puck. He gets a second chance at it, though. He backhands that one. That one will be sticked away there by corner. And now it's Richard Young trying to get this one towards neutral ice. They do. Giselle Medina settles that one down. Part of the over. Both teams now on five on five full strength hockey. Giselle Medina now will bring this one up out of the far corner. And bring that one back in. She takes a hard hit from behind there. And a broken stick along that one as well after the hit. Giselle Medina now will bring that one back and look in the center of that one. Now Hollander at the point. Flicks one in there just Ooh, wide of the net there. Wide. It wasn't too far away nice from the far of. post either. As now the Shamrocks now bringing this one up. Bringing that one up there's Mark Lazinski. Has that one stuck away there by Giselle Medina. And now this one is Tyler Trebo to bring it in on a two on two. Trebo now trying to skate around Connor. He does, looks to center that one to Giselle Medina. Nobody home though. Now Lazinski now gives this one up now to Young. Young brings this one up now. He's got a one on two though, but he's trying to go in on his backhand to the far point. Centers it back. Connor hits a shot there. Now one was deflected wide. Michael Sullivan there going for his fourth goal over the net there. Over the stick side of Brenton Ryder and the Bears things now take control of it back at center ice. Michael Nakula now. That one to be sticked away by the Shamrocks at the near point. Sullivan. He just goes in for the heck wow. of it there. 
throw one timer at the blue line and a turnover there. Luzinski trying to take control. Sullivan keeps it at the blue line. Michael Sullivan at the far point. Circles around, backs out, gives it now to Young off the backhand side nice of him. Back, back to Cotter. That one will be sticked in towards the goalie, but that one's going to be taken away there by Nikula and back down towards neutral ice it goes. 11.30 to go here in the third period. 5 4 Bear Stangs. That one goes now to Richard Young at the near boards here. And now Beltram will bring it into the zone. One timer there into the glove, showing the leather there. Jake Brenton Ryder right in the crowd shows its appreciation for that save. That did not look easy. Now face off now into the left wing circle of the Bear Stangs zone. Now this one will go to Zentz. Zentz now wins it off the face off. Holds it back and will reset. Gets it towards neutral ice. Bringing this one up now will be Alexander Pagini. And my apologies, that was uh, Mary Beth Stone bringing that one up. So that was Stone on that one. And a backhand player. And that one goes in. in. It hit off that. the skate there of West Corner. He didn't know where the puck went. It hit off of his left skate behind him. And that one trickled back into the net. So I believe getting credit for that goal there will be Zachary Stentz as he was the last one to touch the puck there. And it's now 6-4 Bear Stangs with 10.55 wow. to go in the game. They've broken it open. So Zentz gets credit for it. That's his fourth goal of the season. This is when now off the face off to McCarty as the Shamrocks now face a two goal deficit with 10.45 to go here in the third period. Now Giselle Medina brings this one up to the near boards to neutralize. And now it's Hollander. Hollander now on his backhand, looks to get some space, tries to strap that one around and clearing that one there, but far enough, and it will go far enough, as that one will go far enough for, they're not gonna say an icing. They will not pull icing on that one, they play on, as getting this one now will be Brett Parola. Parola now will ring this one around to the far boards, now back to his neutralized, McCarty will take it. McCarty looks to dump that one back in, and he does, and some of the Shamrocks go off for a change. Now this one will go around the far end boards into the Bear Stang zone. That one plays up, and it's not touching that. It's almost off the glass, though, as this one now goes to the far end corner into the Bear Stang zone, and they almost try to get a play up there to Stone, but can't do that, though. That one's going to be played there by corner, and he gives it off to his defenseman in Rickert. Now back around to the near side, Young. Goes now to Lasniewski. McCarty now. Brings that center ice. Gets this one to Richard Young at the near point. Tries to skate that one through a couple skates, and this one goes back to neutral ice. It will not go far enough for an icing, so bringing this one back will be Enrique Mulatto. 9.30 to go in this third period. That one now is Chris Savage on the interception. Skates around a few defenders. Trying to go back to his forehand on that one, but that one will be taken away by the Shamrocks. It's Mulatto on that stick away there a moment ago. He gets it back in his own zone. Coach the nine minute mark here in this third period. 6-4 Bear Stangs. As Zentz dumps that one back in. And Mulatto will go back to chase it. Mulatto. And that one go over the stick of one of his forwards. As Michael Sullivan comes back in and will reset. Michael Sullivan. Skates around a few Bear Stangs. Going in on his backhand. Looks around one defender, doesn't know where the puck is though. Goes back in to chase it, and a lot of sticks will tie up the puck there on the near end boards. As Young there was going for the puck, this one goes to the near point. Mulatto, one timer through the wickets, no! As that one almost went through the five hole there of Bretton Ryder. And this one's gonna be cleared back down and a neutral ice. With 24 to 20, the shots on goal favoring the St. Patrick Shamrocks. Intercepted there as it's Nikula now. What timer there? Gonna be soaked up by West Corner. 8.13 to go in this third period. 6-4 Bear Stangs. Now face off now in the right wing circle of the Shamrock zone. Play now goes out of the zone and trying to chase that one there is McGordy, but he's gonna be tied up there by Hollander. And back to neutralize we go. Beltram now. Beltram will look for somewhere to go with him, but he has to circle back in his own zone to settle things down. 
with under eight minutes to go. They're down two, six to four. Holland and Howard bringing it in. Looks to try to skate that one through, but can't as that one's gonna be sticked away. And going back to get this one is Sebastian Medina. That's like a weird bounce off the boards. It actually goes back to Medina. Sebastian Medina, I should say. And the Shamrocks just dumped that one back in around to the far corner of the Bear Stang zone. And they get that one back to neutralize. Hits off the stick of Cotter. No icing will be called because of that. 24-21 shots and goal in favor of the Shamrocks. As now it's Beltram. He skates in nicely, flicks a shot in there, hits off a stick of a defender, and covering that one up will be Jake Brettenrider. 7.14 to go here in this third period. 6-4 Bear Stings. Fans make sure to catch the Chicago Wolves on Sunday, February 28th at 7 p.m. versus the Grand Rapids Griffins and Sunday, March 1st at 3 p.m. versus the Milwaukee Admirals. Don't miss the live AHL action. For tickets or any youth hockey info you need, call 1-800-THE-WOLVES. And there was a penalty called uh, just a moment ago as well as I was doing that read there. So we're going to have five-on-four hockey in favor of the Bear Stings now. Is that a... Uh Unsportsmanlike? I believe there might have been an unsportsmanlike there. Was the ref, there was no arm raised before the puck went out of play. But nonetheless, we, I believe there might be a misconduct because we do have five skaters out there. So a misconduct penalty goes against the Shamrocks, but we still have five on five hockey. Didn't see officially who went into the box, though. Might figure that out, though, by the names we don't call. Shamrocks win the face off there off that stoppage of play as we have seven minutes now left to go here in this third period. And a big hit. There. Big hit. That's a massive hit at the blue line. <laughs> That's left. a hit of the game. Yeah, that was McCarty on that hit. A brister there from the blue line. Kept in to the zone of the Shamrocks by the Bear Stangs. And now Michael Sullivan on a three on one. Oh, just over the stick there of Lasnuski. As he looks to center that one. Michael Sullivan a shot there. And that one comes off the net there. And play has halted. And they'll fix the net. 6.40 to go in this third period. 6-4 Bear Stank still. Both teams again with very similar records. Bear Stank's eight wins, 11 losses, zero ties. And the Shamrocks, I'll look that up in just a second. Eight wins, 12 losses, and one tie. Face up now to the right wing circle of the Bear Stank zone. Is that one is gonna trickle in there just wide of the net there. And the Shamrocks, they didn't plan it that way, but then they want to still take it. And out of the near point, Milano. Milano looks to wrist one in there, looking for a misdirection, but can't get it though. Lasuski now behind the net, on his backhand, trying to center it, but nobody home. He's patient with the puck, looking to go up for that one. Nobody home, but they recover nicely. Michael Sullivan, one timer there. That one's gonna be blocked in front by Hollander by his left leg. And he's kind of skating a little gingerly there, but that's go take one for your team. And Young wanted a hook in there, didn't get it, so did the crowd. And a three on one opportunity now for the Bear Stings. As they try to get that one in oh, nice. Medina, but a nice interception there by Joseph Valenzano. He'll go off for a change off that nice stick away there as he was on a three on one disadvantage. Now they center this one out at Giselle Medina, lost his control of her skates there and falls down as Michael Sullivan goes back to control it now for the Shamrocks. The captain of the Shamrocks, Michael Sullivan. He's got three goals already. And they're down two. Lasnuski gives that one to him from the point there and a stick play in a way by Bretton Ryder. Now Sullivan, Michael Sullivan now leaves it from Milano, the defenseman. He rings that one back in. Lasnuski behind the net. Goes around the defender there, that being Tyler Krasavage. Now to the point again, it's Beltrami, but he lost control of that at the blue line and they have to reset a neutral ice. Approaching the five minute mark of this third period, 6-4 Bear Stings. Now Zentz. Looks that one back into the Shamrock zone and he'll go off for a change. Oh. And a play there back on the far end corner of the Shamrock zone. They risk that one around and out of the near side. There were three. This one hits off of a stick and Beltran will get this off of his backhand and it goes back in his own zone from a lot of the play. And now it's Achino. Risk that one around the net. Going for this one now is McCourty. McCourty will try to keep it in play along the boards. Can't though. And now coming up with this one in a breakaway opportunity on his backhand there. And a big hit there by Beltram. 
And that is going to be, I believe, an elbowing call there. Uh -huh. That's going to be an elbow wow. as he went to the head there wow. of Tyler Trebold. They look out for the I didn't safety of see the, that one. They look out for the safety of the players, so that's why the ref raised his arm up for the elbowing call. And wanting an explanation on that one there is Anthony Beltram, and he'll go serve the two minutes now for the elbowing. So a two minute power play now for the Bear Stings, up by two, six to four, with 4.20 to go here in this third period. 24, 21 shots on goal, still in favor of the Shamrocks, however. But with the way this game has been going, they're not out of it just yet. That being the St. Patrick Shamrocks. On the puck. Now it's Rickert, trying to backhand that one around. And a wrister there and a quick glove up there is looking alive for that one was West Corner. And he covers that one up and will have a face off with 4.02 to go here in this third period. So face off now into the left wing circle of Shamrock's zone. And the face off will be won there by the Shamrocks and Michael Sullivan. Oh, tripping call. Tripping coming up. Tripping call. I think the refs making it up now. <laughs> so we'll have four on four hockey for a minute 38. And as serving this one, getting called for the trip there was Brett Parola, the sophomore defenseman, tripping up Michael Sullivan, who won the faceoff and almost had a breakaway opportunity there. So we got four on four hockey now for a minute 38. As they always say, when it's a four on four, the forwards have the forwards and the D-men have the D-men. Now this one goes to Trebold. And now he brings it up in a one-on-one. -on -one. Trebold has that, a good poke check there. Good poke check. That's a good poke check there by the Shamrocks in their own zone. On that one, it was Ricker. And Sullivan, I think he was trying to sell a call there, but he didn't get one. <laughs> and now into the zone. And that one going to be bumped. Oh. A backhand. That backhand. stayed grounded there. Four three shots. Oh. What a stay. What positioning there that was by Brent great Ryder. Great positioning. Yeah, he did not awesome. give up his position, squaring up on the center of the ice. And now keeping that one in now is McCarty. He flicks a shot in there, sticked away. He gets it back, just a flick one over the glove side. And that one will go over the net and out of the far boards it goes. 42 seconds left in this four on four, under three minutes to go. And since it is four on four hockey, icing has been called. So we will go back into the Bear Stang zone. 2.57 left to go in this third wow. period. 25, 22 shots on goal in favor of the Shamrocks. So it'll be Lazuski taking the face off for the Shamrocks. And it'll be Michael Nakua for the Bear Stangs. And he wins that face off for the Bear Stangs. And now a two on two is developed for Zachary Stentz. He brings up down to the near point. He risks a shot in there, goes wide and hits off the glass. And back to neutral ice we go. And getting this one back now to Zenz. There was Nakua. Now to Zenz again. Settles it down to the far point, stick away there. And they might have an oh. opportunity. And that was going to be a nice stick there by Tyler Chris Savage. And now back with it on the Shamrocks. And a play there at center ice going to be picked up now Dump by it in. In Mulatto. Dump it in. Mulatto didn't get much. Chance. Yeah, Dump but he didn't in. get much possession on that one, though. <laughs> As this one now will go back in the Shamrock zone. The first penalty has been killed. And now the Shamrocks are on a power no play icing. for 17 no seconds. And he's going to be tripped up there. So another penalty is going to come up against the Bear Stangs. So it's going to be five on three hockey now for the Shamrocks for 13 seconds. 2.10 left to go in this third period. Whew. Great game. So going to the box with Michael Nakula for two minutes. He'll be in the penalty box for the remainder of this period for most of the third period, I should say. And a timeout has been called by the Shamrocks who are down by two goals, six to four with 2.10 left to go here in this third period. So you gotta know that Shamrocks head coach Andrew Weisenberger by drawing up not only a playoff this face off, but when he's probably going to pull his goalie as well. Fancy North Central Conference is one of four hockey conferences in the Chicago area, along with the Scholastic League, the West, and the Suburban Conferences. 
This season, the North Central Conference is made up of 23 organizations with 40 teams in total, 23 varsity teams, and 17 junior varsity teams. The Metro North Central playoffs are in full swing in all the varsity and JV divisions. Many teams are also competing in the state championship Blackhawk Cup during February and early March. As I mentioned about the Chicago Wolves games earlier on in the broadcast, we'll uh, take a look at how they're doing in their matchup today against the San Antonio Rampage. Get that for you in just a second. As after one period, it's the Wolves one and the Rampage zero. Brett Sopel, the former Chicago Blackhawk, getting the goal there for the Wolves. So at the end of one, it is the Wolves one and the Rampage zero in that game over at the Allstate Arena. So off that Shamrock's timeout, 2.10 to go here in this third period. Five on three for the Shamrocks for 10 seconds now. And now it's Michael Sullivan bringing this one up in a charge. Michael Sullivan looking for his fourth goal of the day. And he gets taken down into the near corner. No call made. And now they have five on four hockey for a minute 47. And the Bears Snakes try to clear it out and they do to neutral ice. And an opportunity here shorthanded as bringing this one up is Brett Parola. Bristol there and a big save by corner, not letting the five will happen. And another opportunity by Hollander is now gloved up by corner as yeah, the net comes that. undone. Yep. 102 seconds, one minute 42 to go here in this third period. So they will fix the net and they will have the face up now. The left wing circle of the Shamrocks zone. And it's five on four now. As Mark mentioned, five on four hockey for a minute 33 for the Shamrocks. And they might make it six on four if they pull the goalie and they do. So West Corner going to the box, six attackers for the Shamrocks, they have an empty net. And they ring this one around now behind the near point to Michael Sullivan. Hits off the stomach there of Brett Parola. Ouch. <laughs> See, he's, he appears to be okay though, which is a good sign, but you can hear the thud on that one off the hip. And we get a whistle and a stoppage of play there along the near corner. So they bring this one uh, back now to the wow. left wing circle of the Bears staying zone. And he's just got, a, he's got a decent shot, a uh, slap shot, too, and he's right in front of that one. Now the captain of the Shamrocks, <laughs> Michael Sullivan. My goodness. He's got three goals today. He's got three of the four Shamrock goals today. He's got a really good shot. And now. A discussion? Yeah, I believe they're. They were looking for. I don't know what they got Beltram going to the box for. Not going in just yet. I believe he was going to be that sixth attacker for the Shamrocks who pulled their goalie a moment ago before the whistle had blown. But nonetheless, he's going to the box. So that's two Shamrocks into the box now. I believe they're going to get a misconduct on Beltram. I believe for. Might have been for the hit that he had on the near end boards a moment ago. Nonetheless, we play on. And that one is, we don't know where the puck is, and Achino. In the skates. It was in his skates, and Achino didn't, didn't like much of that. And now it's Richard Young on his backhand, bringing it in, looking to send it that one to Achino. Oh! oh right pad, and what a save <laughs> by What a Redmire. save. Red Meyer with a Great big save. save. Under a minute to go. That was the save of the game for sure. Michael Sullivan now has that one go off of the stick. Holland now on the empty net, just goes wide. 43 seconds to go, 6-4, Bear Stangs. McCourty now loses control of that one. Now it's Lutuski, Holland now heads that one up off the it's net. It's up and off the net. Off the net, out of play. 35.7 seconds left here in the game overall. Six attackers for the Shamrocks, they have pulled their goalie. They have the power play as well for 26 more seconds. I believe another timeout was called by the Shamrocks as well. They're trying to drop one final desperate play. Try to get back in this thing with 35 seconds to go. But we saw at the end of the first period, <laughs> three goals in 30 seconds. So, so, it's it's not that, so it's not that nothing's impossible here. But nonetheless, 
They still have a huge uphill battle to climb down six to four to the Lake Zurich Mundelein Bearstangs with 35.7 seconds left to go. <laughs> wow. 26-23 shots on goal in favor of the Shamrocks. And I believe West Corner is gonna come back out into the goal for the Shamrocks because the faceoff will be just outside their own zone. So he will come off just for the purpose of that. Or are they not gonna, no, he's not gonna come out there. So it's gonna be six attackers once again for the Shamrocks. So they're gonna risk it about 25 feet away, we'll say, that they have an empty net. And if they win the face off the Bears, they can go for an empty netter. Nonetheless, they do win the face off. They wrap it around the net, though, and in and around, McC McCarty will go back to get it. 20 seconds to go. McCarty. And now they get this one up now to Ochino. Ochino now brings it at the far point, looking to center. It's a shot and off the post, actually. Scramble for it there. Zets it from behind, and we get a whistle and a stoppage of play. 11 and a half seconds left, two seconds on the Shamrock power play. Wow, amazing. End to end action. Now Young will take the face off for the Shamrocks. They have six on four here, and now the penalty over, and it's six on save. five, and it's a save, they're off the helmet there of Brent Ryder, and that one is cleared back down, and they will call icing with just over a second to go, and it appears that the Bear Stings will take this series two games to one in about 1.3 seconds. They will skate this one back down for one final face-off into the Bear Sting zone, but it was the Medina brother and sister who got a goal each for the Bear Stings today. And they're just going to let that one drop. And that will do it for game three of this division series. And the Bears Things take this series two games to one. Final score here in this third game of the series. The Bears Things six and the Shamrocks four. We had some really good defensive play in the uh, third period there by the yeah, a lot Bears of good, Things. Yeah, the, the defense really did step up there. And the goalie kept them ahead in the game. So that is going to do it for us here at the West Meadows Ice Arena here today. Once again, the final score, the Bear Stings 6, the Shamrocks 4. For Mark McWalters, I'm Ryan Faye signing off here on SportstownChicago.com. Have a good Sunday, everybody.